Since the days of Kwame Nkrumah, our first president, and all other leaders of Ghana, we have heard or read about them talk of Ghana being rich and how they intend to make the nation prosperous, great and strong. But I ask, are we great and strong? When a nation is great and strong, one of the evidence will be a better standard of living of its people, meaning its economy is functioning well and poverty levels are low. Poverty, majorly in my view, is a lack of access to services or the ineffective delivery of services leading to inadequate sanitation, safe drinking water, public road and transport, inadequate solid waste management, supply of electricity and health facilities, employment and income, inadequate access to shelter and education, as well as access to basic food, among others. Do we as a people experience these inadequacies in our daily social engagements? In his lifetime, President Nelson Mandela admonished that overcoming poverty is not a task of charity. It is an act of justice. It is man-made and it can be overcome and eradicated by actions of human beings as a nation. Is it not about time we reflectively and consciously face the facts about ourselves? Assess whether some way, somehow, we have missed the right path in making our nation what we aspire it to be. Sometimes, like Chimamanda Ngozi, a Nigerian writer once posited, the hardest truths are those we have to tell ourselves. It is hard to tell ourselves the truth about our failures, our fragilities, and our uncertainties. It is hard to tell ourselves that maybe we have not done the best that we can. It is time to tell ourselves that the only positive thing to do is to overcome our handicaps and, if necessary, reverse the effects they've had upon us.